Hi everyone, back here for a quick video. Today let's quickly have a look on how to use the Logitech M585 Bluetooth mouse with my iPad. And my iPad here is the 11 inch iPad Pro 2020 version. So the Logitech M585 mouse, this looks very similar as the Logitech M590, but this is the non-silent version. As you can hear, this is very clicky. Now, this one comes with the USB receiver, as we see here, but with the iPad, it can only be connected by Bluetooth. But obviously, if you're using a laptop like a Mac or Windows, then you can use the USB receiver. So now let's connect the M585 to the iPad. And first, obviously, we need to turn on Bluetooth and turn on the mouse. And then we need to press and hold this button to turn on pairing mode. And we will know that when the mouse starts blinking faster. Then we choose here the second one. I don't know why it's showing the two names, but it always works when you choose the second one displayed on the settings. And then we click on pair and now it is connected. So now let's quickly have a look on some of the gestures on using the M585 on the iPad. To go to the home screen, swipe down and you will be taken to the home screen. Now, if you want to go to the app switcher, it's similar, but you have to do it a bit slower and that will bring up the app switcher. Next, to go to the notification center, swipe up in the middle or anywhere uh, on either in the middle or on the left side of the iPad and now you can see the notifications and you can scroll and click on any of it and to go back to the home screen or exit out of notification center simply swipe down next to go to the control center we need to swipe up and this time it should be on the top right corner and here you can uh, now adjust or use any of the options that you have set in your control center. To adjust, uh, let's say, the volume or the brightness, you can hover the mouse on top of it and click, and then you can drag and slide up and down. And then you will see as well the other options. To exit the control center, click on any part of the screen, or you could also do a swipe down to go back to the home screen. So now let's see some gestures for multitasking. Now, if I want to do a split screen, because I already have one app open here, first is to see the apps on the dock. And to see the dock, so do a slow swipe down, and the dock will be displayed. Then you can now drag the app either left or right, and that will open it up in split screen. And obviously you could adjust the windows by dragging this middle bar left or right. Now, if I want to open another app, a third app, I could do a slide over screen, and I can do that by dragging an app again from the dock. So again, display the, the dock by doing a slow swipe down, and then I can drag an app and drag it in the middle, and that will open as a slide screen. Now, if I want to move the slide over screen and hide it, I simply swipe to the right and that will hide the slide over screen. And if I want to bring it up again, I simply swipe again to the right side and it will show. If I want to see some of the slide over screens, I swipe up and I can go into the different slide over screen. And to close everything down, just simply swipe down to go back to the home screen. Now let's have a look on the scroll wheels left and right scroll if it works. If you've seen my other video on the M337, that also has the option but it doesn't work on the iPad. Now let's see if this will work. Now if I click on to the right then it's moving and same if I click left then it is moving. And you may notice that if I click to the right, but it's moving the screen to the left, 
and this is because of the settings that we have on the trackpad and mouse in the iPad. So natural scrolling is turned on and that's why it will follow what how the move it will follow the the same movement as uh, when you use a, your, the fingers to scroll. So if you turn this off and now if I click on right on the scroll wheel then it will move to the right of the screen. I hope this video helps and now you have more information how to use the M585 mouse with the iPad. That's it. Thanks for watching.